Latin America market actually is one of the market that carries a lot of opportunities for mobile network operators. Uh, talking about some examples for the demand in Latin America, uh, LTE 4G network covers about 71% of the population, but at the same time, it only contributes 18% uh, of, the, of the connectivities for MBB connectivities. The second point is the uh, video. Video now contributes about 17% of the traffic, but at the same time, the global average is about 70%. I also wanted to talk about the third point, which in general, uh, home broadband. Home broadband actually in Latin America, it is not as developed as the rest of the world. And for example, there is about 1 million families, they don't have connectivity whatsoever. And there's about 30 million households that they do need better speed. So this market is very important and we believe that wireless can play uh, an important role actually in connecting those homes and also enhancing the speed of the others. I want to talk about four points in here. The first point is regarding the revenue. We all know that there, there is a problem in the revenue in Latin America. Number one is expanding the revenue itself, and number two is enhancing the ARPU or the revenue per subscribers. And for that, I think we need more users to migrate to broadband, and we also need to enhance the traffic for users, and we need also to expand uh, for more uh, business uh, venues as well. So the other factor about successful mobility business in Latin America would be the cost. The cost of acquiring and maintaining communication resources need to be contained. Operate need to look at how to reconstruct the fundamental equation of TCO in terms of moving some of the capex to opex and in terms of using the supplies more efficiently as well. The number three factor is the network. Operators need to think about evolving the network and for that I think LTE is very powerful and LTE has huge way to go and we can actually enrich LTE going to 5G and targeting the 5G. So there are a lot of technological innovations that can be deployed on LTE that will help operator in getting 5G-like services in their business. Um, the other point I wanted to talk about is the value creation. Operators in Latin America need to expand just beyond just B2C. There are a lot of other segments that can be attacked, for example, business to business, for example, business to government, business to homes. All of those will enhance and create more segments that will help them to have healthier business and also will improve the economics of the uh, business in general. I wanted to address video. Again, as I mentioned, the video is a key service that can enhance the traffic, but in order to get to better business opportunities in video, we need to, act, we need to address the experience of the network. We also need to address the, uh, the uh, issue of local contents uh, for that. Now, number two, an example about B2B, which is the IoT, Internet of Things. There are a lot of uh, verticals that can be accessed using the um, narrowband the IoT. Uh, for example, smart parking, metering, logistics, transportation. There are a lot of things that there that need, uh, that need help from the IoT. Uh, the third one, actually, that I wanted to talk about, which is home broadband. We believe that wireless is a key fundamental technology that will enhance uh, household, broadband to household in general.